Sustainable Systems Scientific Focus Area is a new Department of Energy Office of Science project focused on gaining a predictive understanding of processes and interactions that are occurring across a wide range of scales in terrestrial environments. Um, terrestrial environments are important for a wide range of reasons. They support our water resources for communities, for water districts. Um, they support our agriculture for both food and fuel. They uh, play a large role in biogeochemical cycling. That's important for all life, such as the carbon cycle. And unfortunately, they also sometimes serve as repositories for our contaminants. So in spite of the importance of these terrestrial environments, um, surprisingly, we have a very rudimentary understanding of, of how they function, and we certainly don't have um, an ability to predict how they function. And without a predictive understanding, we really don't have the ability to develop solutions to manage these systems in a way that's optimal and sustainable. We've initiated research in the Colorado River Basin, starting initially in Rifle, Colorado, a floodplain located next to the Colorado River, and considering moving to this region, which is the East River uh, watershed in the upper Colorado River Basin. I'm holding here a handful of soil. Um, within this handful of soil are more microbes than there are stars in the Milky Way. And what these microbes see in terms of their local environment is quite different from what these plants see as their local environment. And then, of course, all of these are governed by the hydrological cycling through this system. So we're really talking about a huge range of scales and the intersection between the hydrological processes, the biogeochemical processes within this structured environment. So the Sustainable Systems Scientific Focus Area is really developing a transformational approach to both interrogate these complex terrestrial environments and to simulate their processes across scale. We've assembled a multidisciplinary team that has the expertise to really interrogate these different components and processes occurring in the system. And we've also developed a very systematic plan where different parts of our team are working on different aspects of this complex problem, um, but then we ultimately fold it all up into this multi-scale simulation capability. And this is really novel. For the first time ever, we're developing a simulation capability that will be able to predict those interactions and feedbacks across scale from the genome to the watershed and ultimately to the river basin. This predictive understanding is expected to be transferable across a wide range of watersheds and regions and applications and will be the first really to provide this scientific foundation that managers and decision makers can use to think about how to optimally manage their water resources, their crops, their hydropower now and as we go forward with global change. In the true spirit of the Berkeley Lab, the Sustainable Systems Scientific Focus Area is really a team project. While the majority of the members are located at Berkeley Lab, we really benefit from a number of very rich collaborations with our partners on this project. We partner with a few other national laboratories like Pacific Northwest Lab and Oak Ridge National Laboratory. We have several partners at universities, including uh, UC Berkeley and Colorado School of Mines. These researchers bring their expertise, their resources, their students, and the community to this sustainable system scientific focus area housed at Berkeley Lab.